City boss Emma Hayes said at half-time, clearly worked. Within two minutes of the restart, Aluko teed up Jakobsen again, and this time, despite keeper Rachel brown Fillon's best efforts, she did find the target. Stopped by Nicola Hobbs. However, the two exchange passes to more productive effect moments later. Aluko the provider, Jakobsen tapping in from close range for her second of the season. Chelsea were held by Birmingham last weekend but were determined not to let slip another lead and they doubled their advantage when Hobbs could only parry Aluko's shot before Jakobsen was in the right place at the right time to score the second. But the visitors were to rue those chances as a fine individual strike from Sophia Jakobsen, her fifth for the club, leveled things up just short of the half hour. A little over 15 minutes remaining. New signing Yuki Ogimi was allowed in rather too easily. She had time to pick out Danny Bouet, who may or may not have intended that for Jakobsen. Either way it worked, 4-0, and the Blues were heading back into third. That, though, didn't look likely when the Blues went in front after only two minutes. Defender Karina Schroeder completely misjudged the header back to her keeper and Swedish striker Sofia Jakobsen gratefully accepted the...